Welcome to the back nine at Punta Espada. I found a lot of fairways on the front nine, but I could not get my irons dialed in. I was pull hooking pretty much every shot. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't give you the full again. I'm a little nervous about that. <laughs> that tee shot was an aggressive line, but I caught a piece of the fairway. That is a sand wedge. I caught more turf than ball on that shot. But somehow we're dancing. Just not good. Greens were running pretty slow since they were aerated. You would think by 10 holes I would have gotten used to it. That last few feet sloped towards the hole, but I could not catch the ridge. Hey, two in a row. Hey, but we make the par putt. That's two pars in a row. Nah, I have to scream at myself on <laughs> It was much too hot to be exerting that type of energy. 11th hole. Once again, bombing a drive out in the fairway. Thought it was going to hit the bunker, but we easily cleared it. That was a bomb. That was a 285 yard drive. So it only leaves me about 145 yards. That is a nine iron. And that is a shot shape that I'm getting tired of seeing. We come up short and left, and as you can see, the grass here was punched, so I got some obstacles to avoid. That chip shot was coming in hot. Right? Those little mounds of dirt slowed my ball down, so I only got about three to four feet for par. Oh, and we're starting to make the short putts. So that's two pars in their row to start the back nine. Twelfth hole, par five. I think you can say my caddy liked that drive. I think that's good. <laughs> no. <See>? Why no? <laughs> that was Mucho Bueno. Second shot here. That's a five iron. And that swing right there is called my anti hook swing. You just got to hit it really fat. Takes a side spin out of play. You can see from my alignment here, I am aiming well right of the pin and <laughs> still, still hook it left. That is in the bunker. And that is the sixth time in 11 holes where I am in a fairway or greenside bunker. We we're able to get it out. Got about six or seven feet for par. Oh! oh. And how did that not go in? It yeah, almost was... rolled backwards. Would we knock it in? It would not. That would be a bogey. 13th hole and one of the signature holes on the course. Just a beautiful par three. You need to avoid being short and left. And this is a rare par three because the stroke index is two. She makes it the second hardest hole in the course. And you usually don't see that a lot with par threes. Here is a great example of how dry the conditions are. It really is the only blemish to an immaculate course. This, this course was phenomenal. So I'm aiming outside left edge. I hit my line. We find the bottom of the cup. That is a par. That is the third par in four holes. Onwards to the 14th tee. Hit a nice drive, went a little tad left. We would find the rough, but really the rough here, Punta Spot is not really rough. The ball is setting up really nicely, and unfortunately I got under it, caught more turf than ball once again. It just, it doesn't. It's not a bad result, but I am significantly hitting more bad shots than good shots. I think that is why I've been so frustrated. Speaking of bad shots, that putt came up well short. And we pull this putt left. And we whiff on the tap in, but we're going to give ourselves a bogey on that. 15th hole. One of the more narrow fairways on the course. The aim point is over that bunker cutout towards the right side of the fairway. Laying up here with a 5 iron. That was absolutely flushed. It is actually kind of funny. I'm hitting the ball better out of sand than on grass. If there is one shot that I'm struggling with on this day, it was these shots from about 80 to 100 yards. I just could not clip the ball first, always hitting behind the ball. We do the same here, find ourselves in a bunker. This is our sixth greenside bunker shot. And all six find the green. That was the best one out of the bunch. Leaves us with about three to four feet for par. And that was a very nice sand save. Pick up the par here, 16th hole. It's a beautifully long par three. This is 193 yards playing over oh, 200. Good. That was a four iron. 
I absolutely flushed miles left, which is always a great feeling. So this is an interesting second shot. That is not sand underneath my ball, but pebbles. And that is the price you pay for hitting the ball 40 yards left of the pin. That was a nice solid shank, but was lucky enough to avoid all the trees we're chipping now for par. Let's take a look at this TIE fighter whizzing by my head. That was not the first time I had wildlife come at me. So that leaves us with a double bogey, the 17th hole, one of the more beautiful holes on the course. That was actually not our tee box, but we had to play it from there. It was just too beautiful not to pass up. I think there's a lot of wind up there. Leaves me with about 115 yards as a pitching wedge. That was a pretty good strike, but I got a little bit of a situation on my hand. Where's it going? Come, come. Look. My caddy was worried the drone had a mind of its own. I know where it's going. I know where it's going. But what actually happened was that the battery was dying and the drone flies back to where it took off. So I didn't get the aerial shot, but good news, I got my drone back. You heard the words right there, don't leave it short. After watching one of golf sidekicks videos, I really believe this works. Instead of telling yourself not to do something, reinforce your actions by saying you are going to do it. So what I should have said there was hit it past the hole. Instead, we three putt for bogey. Onwards to the 18th tee. This is a straightforward hole. The miss is left and that is where I hit it. I thought I was flirting with that fairway bunker, but we easily drove past it. Leaves me with a gap wedge in, and that was by far the best strike I've had in the back nine. I really wasn't expecting to hit it that well, to be honest. I actually caught it clean that time. We find the back of the green putting for birdie. Positive reinforcement, get it to the hole. That is what I did. I kept it on the low side, so we're going to have an easier putt back for par. I just got to hit this one firmly. Uh, last roll on it. That was not firm, but we find the bottom of the cup. That is a par on the 18th. Glad I made par on that. I played a tad bit better on the back nine. I shot a 5 over 41 for a final score of 85. Honestly, it could have been much lower the way that I was driving the ball. But one stat that really stuck out to me was the fact that I was 50% on my approach shots towards the green. On a day where I was clearly struggling with my irons, I'm really not that disappointed in how I played. So next up on our course vlog, I traveled to Italy, where I played the host of the 2023 Ryder Cup, Marco Simone Golf Club in Rome. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, and I will see you on the first tee box at Marco Simone.